Spider-Man Homecoming is directed by John Watts and it once again stars Tom Holland reprising his role as the web hip himself, Spider-Man. So after Sony failed, not once, not twice, but three times, they pretty much went to Marvel and said, you know what, you guys are a lot better at this. Why don't you guys take it from here and we'll just make sure that everything's going smoothly. So now we have the first solo Spider-Man film in the MCU. And this film pretty much takes place right after the events of Captain America's Civil War. I really don't think it's necessary to delve into the plot when discussing this film. It's about Spider-Man in high school. It's a story that we've been wanting as fans for a very long time. The previous iterations that we've had, even the very good ones, have a much older actor supposed to be playing a high school kid. But now we have a kid who's essentially my age playing a high school kid, which is so excellent. Now, Spider-Man's a personal favorite superhero of mine. He's been one of my favorite superheroes, and he's only second to Batman himself. So I might be totally biased when it comes to this review. I don't know. You'll be the judge. But in my opinion, Spider-Man Homecoming is, dare I say, amazing. Get it? Like Amazing Spider-Man? No, but seriously, this movie is quite good. And a lot of that is attributed to Tom Holland as Spider-Man. He does such a great job in this movie. I don't think it's really out of the question to compare him to how Ryan Reynolds portrayed Deadpool, or to how Robert Downey Jr. portrays Tony Stark, or to how Hugh Jackman portrayed Wolverine. This kid is perfect as Peter Parker. As I mentioned before, it's really nice to have a kid that's actually young playing a high school kid. And that was one of my favorite parts about this movie, is watching Peter Parker deal with actual high school problems while also trying to maintain the superhero life. I loved watching Peter see himself fight Giant Man on YouTube while also trying to like make this web swinger formula in the back of class while not paying attention to anything that was going on in front of him. And me just graduating pretty recently, I really connected with that part of the story, watching him sit in class not giving a crap about what was going on in front of him. And he just wanted to do other things, more important things. He's very charming, he's funny, he's charismatic, and he also is able to capture the nerdy side of Peter Parker well, which I think is very important with this character. There are several scenes in this movie where he's trying to talk to a girl and he can't get a complete sentence out without stuttering. And there's one scene in particular that really hit home for me. I don't want to spoil it, but there's a scene in this film where Spider-Man is in a very dangerous situation, and the way he reacts, I literally got goosebumps throughout my entire body like three or four times during this scene. It's so powerful. And again, a lot of that power and that intensity is due to Tom Holland's excellent performance as this character. And Michael Keaton is in this film reprising his role as a winged creature in a superhero film, going from Batman to Birdman, now to Vulture. And I think Michael Keaton did an excellent job as this character. He's very creepy, he's very intimidating, but he also is able to throw in that Michael Keaton flair that really only only he can do. And I really think that Vulture is probably one of the best MCU villains that we've gotten thus far. I would put him up there with Winter Soldier and Loki for sure. There's just one aspect about his character that kind of bugged me because his backstory didn't really match well for me with what he does in the latter half of this film. There was just some middle ground where I was kind of confused like, wait, how did you learn how to use this suit? Why are you so good at it when you're like 65? But once again, props to Marvel for taking a very goofy ridiculous character and grounding it somewhat reality and making it very engaging for audiences. I don't have that many gripes with this movie. The only one that I can really think of that was kind of outstanding is Michael Giacchino's score. It's not bad. It's actually really good. It's just that he has a particular song in this movie that is paying tribute to a classic Spider-Man tune. And I really feel like that song was underutilized in this movie. I wish that it would have been a recurring tone throughout the movie. But honestly, if that's the biggest problem that I have with this movie, that, that's fine, I'll take it. And Spider-Man Homecoming did something for me personally that I feel like is very rare when it comes to the MCU movies. If you were to lay out all of these movies but actually transfer them to a comic book form, like a physical comic book, I don't know how many of these movies that I'd actually want to read. But with Spider-Man Homecoming, I would absolutely read this comic. And that's really something that I feel like I couldn't say about the other MCU films. Like, I don't couldn't see myself reading Captain America The First Avenger like in a comic book form. Where was Spider-Man Homecoming? I absolutely would read this. This would be an awesome read. Overall, Spider-Man Homecoming is without a doubt the most faithful adaptation of this character that we've ever had on screen. Tom Holland does such an 
excellent job as this character. I really like the villain. I really like the supporting characters. This movie is funny, it's engaging, and it is such a great comic book movie. What a great year for superhero films. We've had this, we've had Wonder Woman, and we've had Logan. Three really excellent films. But we're not done. Later this year we have Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. I hope both of those films are as good as they deserve to be. So did you guys see Spider-Man Homecoming? What did you think about it? Where does it rank amongst the other Spider-Man films for you? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, click on the link down below and subscribe to my channel to see more movies and related things. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.